Welcome back to the channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. I'm Kelsey, and today I'm going to be sharing with you crack chicken. Um, this is what my family calls cheesy bacon chicken. Um, wait. But if you search crack chicken online, there will be all kinds of recipes that pop up, keto and non-keto. So I have looked at several recipes and I've just simplified this recipe as much as possible. I don't follow a recipe, I just use this instead. Um, so this is my recipe. Based on the ingredients used in most of those recipes, this is my version of it. Um, so you're gonna use the Instant Pot for most of this recipe. It's super easy. Um, Today, I am going to be using a family pack of chicken thighs. Um, a lot of the recipes out there will call for chicken breasts. My family and I, with the Instant Pot, we kind of felt like the chicken breasts were just too tough and it was really stringy and we did not care for the texture. On keto, high fat meat is not to be afraid of, so we switched to chicken thighs and we're never going back. Um, so, the first part of the recipe is going to be an Instant Pot, uh, in the Instant Pot. We are going to make sure you have your trivet in the bottom of your Instant Pot, and then you're going to put a cup of water in the bottom. So Thatcher's going to, whoa, Thatcher's going to pour a cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot, and this just makes sure that the chicken doesn't stick to the bottom and burn because the Instant Pot is such a high concentrated heat, it's easy to burn things um, if it doesn't have the right amount of liquid. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put my chicken thighs in here. Um, stop, stop. I'm just gonna put my chicken thighs right in the on top of the trivet and just lay them out as e evenly as possible. Um, they usually chicken thighs are folded up like this. You want to just kind of unroll them to make sure that they're going to get cooked all the way through. And I always recommend using a, temp a thermometer to check the temperature of your meat to make sure that it's cooked properly. Um, it just takes a lot of the brain work out of it. Okay. So on top of your chicken, um, you are going to take a brick of cream cheese. So this is eight ounces of cream cheese. You can have a little bit in just a second, okay? Just gotta be patient. Okay, so the easiest way for this to cook well is I just cut it in half and then, then I'm gonna slice up the um, cream cheese so that it's spread out enough. So I'm just gonna put them in small pieces, small pieces like this, and I'm just gonna spread them across the chicken. Now, if you put just one big brick of chicken, of cream cheese, if you just put one big brick of cream cheese over the chicken um, and you pressure cook it, that I have found a pocket of uncooked meat underneath the cream cheese. So it just makes sense to try your best to spread it out as much as possible. Okay. Okay. So then, this is not a clean keto recipe. This is um, this is definitely dirty keto. It has maltodextrin in it. But you're gonna take a ranch seasoning packet and sprinkle it over the top. Okay. So you're just gonna sprinkle it over the top of the chicken. Okay. Make sure you get it all in there. All right, and then you're gonna put the lid on and the vent closed. You're going to go to pressure cook and you're gonna cook it for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's gonna take a couple of minutes to heat up. Don't touch, please. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to heat up and then it'll be 20 minutes. Okay, so while your chicken is in the Instant Pot, you're gonna want to cut up a half of a pound of bacon and cook it up. Um, so it's ready to go in when the chicken is all shredded um, at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and a half a pound of bacon, I'm just gonna cut this, these strips in half and then cut from there. Um, just makes it really easy. Um, and I'm gonna make these really small pieces and they're gonna fry up pretty fast.
So my Instant Pot is done. I'm gonna let the pressure go. I am. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Um, the cream cheese is very um, melted. We've got some broth here from the water and from the chicken. You can drain some of this broth, but we just leave it in there because it makes it more like a creamy soup. Um, but I'm going to take this chicken out and I'm going to shred it up. Um, I am going to check the temperature of the meat to make sure it's over 165. We're at 205. Yeah, it's looking done. This is really hot. Be careful. Okay. All right. So I just take these big chunks of chicken out and, um, when I was using chicken breasts, I would cut it, but, um, I just kind of shred it up as much as possible. So, oops. Take this chicken and I'm gonna shred it on a um, cutting board. Shred it or cut it, just, just get it broken up so it's in better shaped pieces to eat. Okay, so on the plate that I had the chicken thighs on, there's a bunch of cream cheese. Make sure you put that all back in. Um, you're gonna want every bit of it. Okay. And so right now we have a pretty thin um, soup-ish base. Um, and I'm going to add some cheddar cheese and some bacon. And I'm probably gonna add about two. You want some cheese? Um, I'm, this is actually the Mexican cheese, uh, Mexican blend, but um, you can use cheddar or this, whatever. Um, I'm gonna add probably about two cups of cheese, and I just eyeball it based on like how much chicken I use. So a good amount of cheese, and then we're gonna add the bacon. So I'm gonna mix this up so it melts a little bit. Um, and you could add some xanthan gum here if you would like it to be thicker, that would be fine. Um, but I don't ever do that. Um, I would actually prefer um, to drain some of, this, some of the juice out before I would thicken it. Just Again, this is a half a pound of bacon. We're just gonna mix it. And this will melt all on its own, or if you wanna speed it up, you can put it back in the Instant Pot for like one or two minutes on high pressure and it will melt everything, but this is looking really good. You could also leave it on keep warm and it will melt together. Just to serve it up, I'm just gonna put a couple of scoops into a bowl and this is what it looks like. It's so good, it smells good. You don't have to add any salt or any additional pepper. The ranch packet is just what you need, it's no problem. I often will serve it with like steamed broccoli. Be careful. I will often serve it with steamed broccoli and that's really good. Sometimes I just feed this to my kids like this. Um, if you have a recipe that uh, for the ranch seasoning packet that to make it yourself, drop the link below. I would love to, a good recipe for the ranch seasoning packet that is not filled with all the additives that is in it. This is something, I keep this ranch seasoning on hand for this recipe only, and I use it in this every time. Um, so I'd love a cleaner option. If anybody has a recommendation for that, I would love to know what you use. If you could smash that like button on the way out, that would be great. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button so that you're notified every time that I put a new video out. Um, and as always, I hope wherever you're at today, you're having a great day. We'll see you soon, friends. Bye. Say bye, friends. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. Say have a good day.